Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on completing the square. This is lesson two, um, using to sketch graphs. And you need to make sure you've watched lesson one beforehand because we're going to be building on what we learn. So let's have a look. The question says, by completing the square, sketch the graph of x squared plus 8x minus 2. So we looked at how to actually complete the square last lesson, and we're going to use the answer today to help us sketch what the graph's going to look like. So before I begin, I'm going to put an axis on the board, which is where I'm going to sketch the graph. So let's complete the square. So we learned in the last lesson that completing the square means we're going to have a bracket squared, and we need to halve this middle number, the plus 8. So the plus 8 becomes plus 4. And we have an x at the front. So this is what we learned in the previous video. And then we need to finish it off. So we have a 4 squared, which will give us 16, which we don't want. So we take away 16. But what we do want is this minus 2 here. So we're going to put a minus 2 on the end as well. So all I've got to do now to finish completing the square is simplify that. So that will be x plus 4 squared. And minus 16 minus 2 will give us minus 18. So this is completed the square. And if you're a bit confused on how I did that, you need to watch the lesson one video. Now we're going to use that to sketch what the graph's going to look like on this axis here. So before I start, uh, we go to the original equation and we look at the last bit, the minus 2. This is known as the y-intercept. And this tells us where it will cross the y-axis. Well, this is the y-axis. And minus 2 is down here. So I know my graph's going to go through the y-axis at minus 2. The rest of the information we get from what we've done here in completing the square. Now, we know this is a quadratic graph. Now, a quadratic graph is, well, because it's got an x squared in. And we know that's going to be a u-shaped graph. A u-shape. Now... One thing that's important is where the bottom of the U-shape is. So I've put a cross there. If you've got a U-shaped graph, the bottom point of that, well, that's called a vertex. So the bottom point of the graph is called the vertex. And we've we can use this completed the square formula to actually find where that is. So the vertex has x and y coordinates. The y coordinate is very easy. We just used the end bit of the complete in the square. So the y coordinate of the vertex is going to be minus 18. And the x coordinate of the vertex we find from this bit in the bracket here. What you do is you've got to make the bracket 0, a little bit like when you're solving using factorizing. So x plus 4, how do you make that 0? Well, x has to be minus 4, because minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So my vertex is going to be at minus 4, minus 18. So that's the coordinate of the bottom of the graph. So let's do that on my axis here. So we go to minus 4 on the x-axis, and we go down to minus 18. And it's only a sketch, so you can just do it rough like I'm doing here. So we know that cross here is the bottom of the graph. We know it's going to go through this point at minus 2, the y-intercept and we know it's going to be a U-shaped graph. So all you do now is you just draw carefully the U-shaped graph going through these points. And that's done. So that's how you sketch a graph using completing the square. Let's do one more, just so that you can get your heads around it and make sure you fully understand it. So again, let's start with an axis that we're going to draw it on. And I start with the y-intercept, this plus 3 here. So plus 3 is the y-intercept, and that's where it's going to go through the y-axis. Now we complete the square. So as we learned previous, you've got to halve this middle number. So that minus 4 becomes minus 2. So it's x minus 2 squared. Well, we've got minus 2. When you square it, you get plus 4. Now, I don't want that plus 4, so we get rid of it. What do I want? I want the plus 3. 
So we're almost there, we just need to simplify that. So when you complete the square, you've got x minus 2 squared. Well, minus 4 plus 3 will give you minus 1. So we can use this to find the vertex, which, as you remember, is the bottom point, or it could be the top point, of a graph. So the y-coordinate of the vertex, so it has an x and y-coordinate. The y-coordinate is just simply this minus 1. And the x-coordinate is how you make this bracket 0. Well, you can see that if x was 2, 2 take away 2 is 0. So x is 2. So the vertex, the minimum point of our graph, is at the points 2 across, minus 1 down. So we know the vertex is there. So all I've got to do now is draw the graph. So the graph is a U-shaped graph that goes through the 3, goes through the vertex, like that. So again, we've sketched the graph using completing the square. If you're a bit struggling on how we actually completed the square, make sure you have a look at lesson one again to show you how to do it. Here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck. <laughs>